Hey guys and welcome to this video. So this video is a little bit different uh, to the other things that I share online and that's because this was actually recorded live from a mastermind in Curacao. Curacao? Curacao? I never figured out whilst I was there how to actually pronounce it. But there was a mastermind in the Caribbean and um, it was it was an amazing week of, of learning and networking and um, really kind of strengthening existing relationships. And during that presentation, during that week, I gave a presentation. It was quite a long one. It was it was well over an hour. So what I've done is I've broken it down into um, little sections uh, of which this video that you're about to watch is one of them. So um, apologies, the the audio isn't as crisp and clear as I would like it to be, but it's still very listenable. Um, and um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you do get some value and obviously share it to anybody who you also think might benefit. So without further ado, please enjoy this video. It's kind of like the well kept secret. Body work is things that you get physically done to you. People like Jay Abraham, he has a double massage. He has a two hour massage from two masseuses, two masseuses, and two masseuses at the same time, one of the top half, one of the bottom half. So it's like he has four hours of, of massage. Um, and he also has weekly acupuncture. And then in between acupuncture, he has like a little plaster that goes on his ear that has, is like lined with spikes that, that is like permanently sort of stimulating him. Um, Tony Robbins has cryogenic chambers and infrared sorters. Basically, body work keeps your blood flow and energy flowing correctly. <laughs> Phrase that better. And, um, and it's also scheduled me time. You know, you're taking time out for you, you've earned it. Things that you can do, and I've done all of these in the last two weeks. Reiki, acupuncture, massage, sauna, hot cold treatment, flotation tanks. I want to get to the point where I actually do one of these each, each week. And like rotate, so every four weeks you do the same thing, but you do different ones in between. They all have different benefits. Um, I would just say try them all out uh, once. You can just Google your area plus flotation tank plus Reiki plus acupuncture, whatever you find. That try it out, see how you feel. When they ask you what you want, like in the case of acupuncture, uh, just sort of play. I'm just, I've come to, I've come in with an open mind. I want to try it out. I want to see. How I benefit? Could you just kind of give me a sort of well-being treatment, and if they give us? So, um, so I'm talking about regular saunas there. Yeah. The the infrared sauna isn't something I've tested out myself yet. I've heard it so many times, um, but it's it's something that stimulates your your skin in a way that sunlight does, and gives you the benefits of, of sunlight when you don't necessarily have the sunlight. As I said, like, I'm delving into the worlds of love right now. I hold my hands up, I don't know um, a lot. And what flotation tanks? What are, what's the. Flotation tanks is it, it primes you for meditation. So, a flotation tank is water that's been filled with Epsom salts so that when you lay on it, you float. And it's kind of like being in the womb, I imagine. Mm -hmm. It's like body temperature, and it. As you're floating there, it's just kind of the optimum environment. You've got you've got sort of sensory deprivation. It's the optimum environment to get into a deep meditative state. So you get the meditation benefits um, and then some. But if you're doing flotation tanks, I would book a course of three or more because the first time is about learning to float. You're going to get salt in your eyes. You're going to get salt in your cuts. You're going to. It's not going to be as fun. But then your muscle memory, you'll learn to just be able to float really, really still. The second one will be better, the third one will be better still. Um, if you have got any cuts, cover them in Vaseline, otherwise they'll sting like a bitch. And um, don't go in with a damp face. You normally shower beforehand, make sure you dry off your face because it attracts the salt. Once you've got the salt water on your face, you'll rub. That goes in your eyes, it stings. Um, so just avoid some of those things. Just Google it, look up top tips for, for Reiki, how to get the most out of my Reiki. Um, sorry, flotation tanks, and try them out. I get my best ideas in flotation tanks. That's when I just map out entire funnels in the head and stuff. It's, it's quite profound. It's also dark, right? Yeah. When you get them in tanks, it's really dark. Yeah, D different ones are different. So some are tanks, like pots. Uh, the one I go to is called Room to Flow, and it's like a 
sort of rectangle and it's and it's more of a room like with a higher ceiling and stuff. I didn't avoid the tank, that just happened to be my local one. You know, they, they do the same the same thing. Just give them a go. But in the pot is dark and you've actually forced to do meditate. Yeah, it doesn't just, nothing else to do. Some of them have little low level lighting that you can control. Yeah. Some have music that you can control. Uh, just just talk to the person in advance um, about silly things, not silly things, but like what you want to know is how you know that it's the end, because when you get in there, you, you, you don't necessarily, oh, she's just going to come in here, and I'm like all naked, and she's just going to get out, sort of thing. <laughs> you know, just just ask what the, the procedure is, how it's going to go down. My one, she, it plays music for 15 minutes, then goes silent, and then plays 15, for the last 15 minutes of the session comes on. And then if you fall asleep, they put on the, um, the filtration system, so it's like, <clears throat> and you, you wake up for that. But the idea is that you, you come in on the last 15 minutes. Daredevil huh? Anyone seen Daredevil? Yeah. Yeah, because he because he has all these extra senses or amplified, so he sleeps in flotation tanks. Awesome. Awesome. Try it out. How many of you guys have tried flotation tanks? I haven't tried it, but I had a client that was um at the natural healing spa, mm. so I learned a lot about them, and I was also going to suggest it's I think it's a new thing, but it's called amethyst biomass. So you sleep on a bed of amethyst crystals. Yeah. They're supposed to ground you and collect the bad energy from you. Yeah. And just sit, sit there for like 15, 25 minutes. And yeah, I, I read a lot about Could them. you remind me that later on when I've got some? Yeah, yeah. Reiki is similar to that in terms Try of the energy. Yeah. They yeah. get that with crystals. Yeah, exactly. I turned that. Just find what works for you, have a play with this. At the very least, you're going to have a fun story to tell people, an interesting <laughs> story. You want know, to tell you about the time where I just floated in a dark, salty tank? <laughs> 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 <laughs>